Henkel of Florida. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So I'm, I'm going to try to be very uh, calm about this, but if I really had my way, I'd be yelling and screaming because, um, and not at you yet. <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> but soon. No. Here, 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 here's, here, here's what I'm concerned about. Um, we've heard a lot in this committee about the undeniable link between the treatment of women and global peace and security and also women's prosperity and that, and that link. And I, I'm, I think a lot of us are very, very concerned what's happening uh, to the women of this world by policies of this administration. A slashing international family planning assistance by half, eliminating all assistance to the UN Population Fund, which also, which also combats sex trafficking and child marriage, general mutilation leaving the ambassador at large for global women's issues vacant, uh, reinstating and expanding the inhumane global gag rule that forces uh, health care providers to cut services for, for women, and uh, which really is, causes an increase in maternal deaths and unwanted pregnancies. And I am not talking about funding abortion, all right? Uh, that's a, that we could have that argument on a separate day. Uh, just, I'm sure you probably know this, but contraception is, abortion is not contraception. And uh, I'm, I just want to give you an example of, of what's going on in your department. Do you, there, 200, there were reports every year, I believe it is, 200 countries on human rights. Reports are put out. There's a section on women. Last year, for every country, uh, there was a section, women, it was, uh, there was a section on rape and domestic violence, and uh, then there was one, uh, uh, sexual harassment, and discrimination, and reproductive rights. The new report has completely eliminated reproductive rights uh, and su substituted, uh, it's almost insane what it, I'll, I'll just give you an example. So, uh, I'll give you an example. Last year's report uh, for El Salvador uh, said that women were being imprisoned for miscarriages. That, that's an example. It, it said Ugandan men were beating their wives for using contraception. And in the Philippines, poor women were being denied family plan uh, planning services. Uh, now, basically, there's a, there's a substitute for this, basically, uh, that just, it, ju it just, well, it, uh, it's almost ridiculous what it says now. Uh, so, uh, really, my, my first question to you is, I don't know whether you're aware of this, whether you will look into this. Why don't we start with that? I'm not as familiar with the report as you are. I, have, I don't, it may have been issued on my watch. I would guess it was before that. Uh, but I'm happy to look into the issues. How, how about the uh, ambassador position for global? Oh, you mean the global women's issue? Yes. Yes, I'm, yes, ma'am. It's on my list. And how about? By the way, I, I agree. It's important. We need to find the right person. I think the issues are incredibly important. All right. The the global gag rule has been expanded. Uh, to not, not, again, this is a not, we're not talking about uh, the federal funding of abortion. It's been so expanded now that uh, healthcare money is getting cut, cut off from agencies that, I th that even might refer or mention uh, 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 services that, that will uh, perform abortions. So, so basically, contraceptive services, I'm not talking about abortion, contraceptive services are being, being cut off. My, my question to you is this, whether or not you are, will take a look and see how this is impacting the women's health all over this world. Yeah, I'm always about data and facts. You're about data, okay. Well, here's what I'd like you to be about, please. Please stop with this. this we, we have from this administration what I call abortion hysteria. Because of this hysteria, you're cutting off health care to women all over the world. So if I could just ask you to, you know, 
calm down from this hysteria and really take a look at the health of what's happening to women and, and, and to remember that women's rights are human's rights and it is absolutely tied into the peace and security and prosperity of the world. That's an easy one. I'm fully committed to that. This administration has demonstrated enormous commitment to the health of every woman. Well, uh, no, that's not true. But thank you for being here. We, we go to <laughs> Scott Perry of Pennsylvania.